like crafting for your American Girl doll, subscribe and just craft it. For this craft you'll need black foam board, a hot glue gun, an exacto knife, a ruler, an empty doll box, and fabric of your choice. Before we show you how to craft Mouse Bed, we want to give a shout out to Stardust Sparkles. Thanks for being such a great fan. If you want a shout out, leave a comment and share this video. You're going to start by making the bed post for the bed. So take your black foam board and you're going to trace out strips. You're going to need 16 strips that are about 20 inches by an inch wide and you're gonna need 16 of them. Each bed post will have four strips together, so use something with a flat edge to trace the strips. Once you have them traced out on your foam board, you're gonna count every four strips and then cut them apart. You wanna leave four bunched together for each bed post. Now you should have four sections cut out, and each section should have three lines still on it. You're gonna take your X-Acto knife and you're gonna cut down these lines. Make sure not to cut all the way through. You want to break the surface, but you don't wanna cut it away completely. Once you've cut through the surface of the line, you're gonna take the foam board and you're gonna bend it. It should snap, but it should still stay together. You're gonna hot glue the two open ends together, and this is how you create your bed post. Now cut out four rectangles that are about nine and a half inches long and about two inches wide, and four long rectangles that are about 20 inches long and two inches wide. These are gonna be the pieces for your bed frame. Now because it's a four poster bed, you're gonna create two bed frames, one for the bottom support and one for the top support. All you have to do is hot glue these together. Now take your doll box, Turn it upside down and the bed frame you just made should fit right over it. Determine how high you want it to be off the ground and then measure it. Make sure that you mark your bed post with how high you want your bed frame to be. Mine is about four inches off of the ground so I've marked my bed post. Once they're marked, then you're going to apply the hot glue right in between the marks and put the bed frame right onto the post. You're gonna repeat this for all four bed posts on the bottom. Now take the frame support for the top and hot glue it into place just like you did the bottom. You shouldn't have to measure anything for the top support. Now your bed is done. Now you can leave it like this if you want and decorate it with jewels and just put the bedding on it or you can take it one step further and we did for Mal and we use some sheer pink fabric and we're just gonna hot glue it to the back kind of like a curtain and I started on the outside and worked my way in. We really like this fabric because it is sheer and it's very sparkly and it just looks like Mal. So the back curtain is done and it looks great although our bed just doesn't look complete yet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add two curtains in the front. So we're just gonna take some scrap fabric that we have left over from Halloween and we're gonna use two pieces. So one on the left, one on the right. So each piece should go all the way to the middle. That way it opens up in the middle. And then just take a scrap piece of coordinating fabric and tie it around the bedpost. That way the curtains open and close when you need it. Now if you don't wanna ruin your doll box, all you have to do is take fabric and tuck it in the box. That way, if you ever need to use the box again, you can just take the fabric off and the box is in perfectly good shape. Now add the rest of your bedding. We're just using some shimmery purple fabric and some of our own custom pillows. And the bed and the bedding is complete. Now take your bed frame, place it right over the box, and you are done. Don't forget to leave a comment and share this video for your chance to get a shout out.